This is the Samsung PM991A NVMe drive. It's a NVMe M.2 drive, so it's a solid state drive in M.2 2242 format. So it measures 22 millimeters by 42 millimeters. It has an interface PCI Express Gen 3 times 4, a capacity of 256 gigabytes of storage, and the manufacturer promises a read speed of 3.1 gigabytes per second and a writing speed of 1.3 gigabytes per second. I'm going to install this drive on the computer and check if these promised speeds are really achieved by this NVMe model. But first, subscribe to the channel because I post new videos every week. Let's get a computer already opened with an M.2 connector, but we have a problem because we have a length of 80 millimeters on the motherboard and this drive is only 42 millimeters. When connecting to the M.2 slot, we don't have the screw for the 42 millimeters. The module tilts. For that, we'll need an extender. Let's remove the NVMe drive from the computer again. We put the extender on the module, like this, so we can extend the module to a length of 80 millimeters. And now we can put it back in the M.2 slot to fit properly and securely. We take the screw, push the extender to line up with the hole and put the screw in. Tighten the screw to hold the module and so we have the NVMe drive properly installed on this computer and the module will not come out from the motherboard. Let's close the computer and run a speed test. Let's start by opening the program Crystal Disk Mark to run the tests. We are going to run just one test. This is a quick test with a size of 1 GB. Now we choose the drive and we want the results in megabytes. Let's run the first test. is a sequential test with 8 queues and 1 thread. The max speed should be up to 3100 megabytes per second, but let's see the read speeds. So we got 2462 megabytes per second, and now we're testing the write speeds. It should be lower. The write speeds is, is always lower. And we got 1218 megabytes per second in the write speeds very close to the maximum. Now let's see in gigabytes. So 2.46 gigabytes per second of read speeds. And in IOPS, we have 2,347 IOPS in read speeds and 1,162 IOPS in writing speed. I will comment next on the results below comparing the speeds promised by the manufacturer, but I also have on the channel a more exhaustive test of the reading and writing speeds of this NVMe, running the sequential and random tests, if you want to see more detailed results. And that was the speed for this Samsung NVMe M.2 drive. Let's remove it from the M.2 connector on the motherboard. And this is the Samsung PM 991A MZ-ALQ256B model in a M.2-2242 format. The manufacturer promised reading speeds up to 3.1 gigabytes per second, but we only managed to reach 2.47 gigabytes per second, about 600 megabytes per second less, which is significantly lower which corresponds to 19% less. Regarding the writing speeds, it promised 1.3 gigabytes per second. We reach around 1 gigabyte per second, 1.2 gigabytes per second max. 2.47 gigabytes per second of reading speeds, it's already very good. But there are new NVMe M.2 drive modules using PCI Express, which can reach much higher speeds, up to 7 gigabytes per second. I hope you enjoyed this video, that this video proved the real speed 
that this NVMe drive can achieve to help you decide if you want to buy it. Now, subscribe to the channel because I publish new videos every week. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you have any questions about NVMe drives, write in the comments.